In Sweden, something unusual is happening. Normally, a country that has a Twitter account uh, has that account run by an official of the government. Not so in Sweden. Uh, the people there are, are actually in charge. In 2011, we became the first country in the world to let go of an official communication channel and hand it over to our citizens. Together with the Swedish Institute and Visit Sweden, we decided to break all branding principles and revolutionize the voice of a country. Every week, someone in Sweden is at Sweden, sole ruler of the world's most democratic Twitter account. For seven days, he or she shares their everyday life, private opinions and general reflections. After that, someone else does the same, but differently. This is a simple way to give tips and advice on where to go on your holiday in Sweden. And a great way to interact with people around the world. We can easily share traditional Swedish food, as well as our taste in music or cinema. You can come with us to a regular day at work. Or hang out with us on our free time both in the busy city and out in the wild. The response was overwhelming. We attracted over 25,000 followers from 120 countries and started thousands of conversations. Sweden trended on Twitter worldwide, sparking discussions on transparency in social media and how technology can be used for democracy as well as inspiring citizens in other countries to start similar accounts. The initiative has been featured all over the world. Some think it's just a clever PR campaign. Others believe that it's a beacon of free speech in a time when we need it more than ever. For us, it's the only way to paint a fair picture of Sweden for the rest of the world. Swede by Swede. Tweet by Tweet.